as we can see we have our cart truck we have one camera connected and uh, background connected a uh, very familiar view for you i guess we have a grid we have a picker what did change here is uh, uh, instead of having camera and an axis we have 3d locator and this version of cart truck will find out by itself uh, what was fed to it to extra input and also it will concatenate all the accesses if you have a few accesses connected next change was inside of adjust transform rotate and scale you have a stabilize ob option similar that you remember from a uh, find z tab and additionally if you click here it will show you access this will help you to adjust exact position of your grid in a little bit easier way than uh, just toggling numbers and the go section uh, we don't have any options anymore you just press go and it produce you all the results that you need and save them instead of creating nodes it just saves uh, all these results inside of the tab in this case i already produced left wall and you can see it here right now i did move an axis a little bit uh, lower and that's why we see that it's uh, there is mismatch you know what let's just update that this is another thing that we can do as you can see we did update position of our card but we already calculated it in the in our tabs so what we can do here we can just say well i will just say go and i will name it again left wall and uh, okay and right now my left wall is updated with the new um with the new card okay now let's talk about what actually we're creating right now so instead of creating nodes we're creating just the information here we're creating a card and we're saving our corner pin information and now we can extract it anytime um uh, whenever we need specific node let's come back to our ability to change the camera i created very little scene here if i will compare it to before and after you can see that kind of like there's some work done uh, some color correction on this window everything is done with card tracks or there's no camera projection or cards involved at all corner pins and rotor shapes which are tracked now what is the new option right now you can actually if you have a similar shot which looks like that for example so this is the different shot unlike this one but if your match move is match move to the same geometry then you can just uh, update your car to track with new camera we can just say well let's just change the background let's change the camera and i will look now on the final result of my scene so i did change my background as you can see everything is collapsed it's like of course because we're still using tracking from the previous shot and if i will go to car to track to camera recalculate and update notes i will say well recalculate camera and all these tabs up they are updated but nothing happened in the node graph yet then i will press select associated nodes and right now it will select nodes that it will affect as you can see on the left side nothing is selected and this is important because sometimes maybe from some reason you want to not have certain nodes in this calculation and then you're just saying well update selected nodes and right now everything is jumping exactly where it's supposed to be let's have a look on the little updates for our c project okay and um yeah let's build very simple example merge poster let's see how does it look like uh it will look like that okay very good poster nothing is tracked we have tracking of the left wall so yeah let's have a look let's just press set to input and let's have a look on the result and uh we see nothing okay and we see nothing because um exactly in the previous as in the previous version if our input resolution is different for our project resolution it will be cut by your input resolution uh, input so we did add here use output format and voila right now we are uh, using the format of our of our project now we not always want to use it format of our project because sometimes we're tracking something which is not related to format of our project and that's why we can always fall back to no crop as we did previously and right now we have our tracking but uh, as you can see the bounding box it's outside of canvas area but as a result we are pretty much in the proper place except that we are squashed preserved image uh, input image aspect and we are stretched exactly as we're supposed to be now let's cover how we stabilizing very simple i will just say well instead of match move stabilize and right now it does look exactly as it was looking previously in all previous version whenever we're stabilizing it is slightly squashed preserve input image aspect 
of course I will uncheck it because it was from our match move whenever I did enable it here. As you can see, it actually stabilized it properly, but everything is squashed again. And that's why we just using preserve output aspect. So right now it's stabilized properly and it's also square pixels. Okay, to unstabilize it back, so I can just duplicate this guy. Uh, let's put transform on the side. And I will say, well, did just, uh, well, uh, match move. And I did exchange preserve output to preserve input. So you just need to remember match move is first one, stabilize is the second one. If you don't want to deal with that, you also can stick to, well, very much ignoring both of this, which is by default happening. So if I just disable both of them, I will have absolutely the same result. 